Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely bluebell chime. Just like this. So to make this you're going to need the bottom of um, an egg holder. You're going to need six metal bells, not plastic ones, and six pipe cleaners, uh, preferably white, I could find yellow, but a, a creamy white is best, a white or yellow will do, and some purple paint, and some blue paint, and a bit of old sponge. Okay, so if you want to go and get all those materials together, and then come back and watch the video, and I'll show you how to make it. Hello. Now before we uh, start getting into actually making our bluebell charm, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our beautiful bluebells, which um, are very special to this country because we actually have over half the population of bluebells in, in the UK and uh, people will travel for thousands of miles to come and see them, uh, but not at the moment obviously, and sadly. If you do get the chance and if you can walk to a bluebell wood near you then I do recommend going and seeing them. It's uh, late April now and they really are at their peak because we've had quite a hot April. Sometimes they don't come out until um, the beginning of May but they're out at the moment and, and absolutely fantastic and really worth a trip to see them. They smell amazing and the smell obviously attracts lots and lots of insects including our beloved bumblebees who feast on all the uh, nectar and pollen. So they're fantastic for wildlife and they usually always grow in ancient woodlands in this country. And uh, they've also got a lot of fairy folklore associated with them. I think the most famous story really is that uh, they're said to ring at midnight to call the fairies for their May Day parties. So, an all round fantastic flower. So, the first thing I showed you, you need your base of your egg box. And you're going to cut this into six equal sections. And the easiest way to do this, I found, is you see these two pointy bits, you sort of go down the valley and up the hill down the valley, up the hill, if you don't mind, just do it roughly to begin with, just you want to chop them into roughly six equal sections, and then you take one of those, you go down the valley, and then up the hill, till you have four, six sections that will look a bit like this, you can see, and some of them uh, I've got long pointy bits and some of them have got the corner bits. So now you want to take them and have a look. The first bit you want to try and even up the length. So if you chop that pointy bit off, just a little bit, maybe a centimetre off, and then you repoint that, like that with your scissors, and then bend it up because a real sign of a British bluebell is it has this little kick to it, like the bottom of its skirt. So that's quite important. There's already one there and there and there by the shape of the egg box. And then you want to have a look at it. You take off the square bits. As you can see, there's a corner there that can go. And so that bit. And any other bits, just give it a rough trim. So that's that one done. And you repeat that basically for all your different pieces. Just curl them up. Cut these corner bits off. That there's another square bit that can go until you're happy that you've got roughly six bell-shaped cups. And then you take one of them, let's take this one, there we go. And I find the easiest way to apply some purple paint is with a sponge. And you just literally hold it at the corner and you tap it all over your egg box a cup shape inside and out. You do that all over, pull six of them until you have six purple bells like that, all coloured inside and out. And then, because if you look at a blue bell close up, 
you'll see they're not just one colour, they're sort of purpley mauve with stripes of blue, especially at the top. So you just want to get a glue sponge and then not very accurately because nothing's exactly straight in nature. You just add a sort of blue tinge to the top. So you want to do that to all of your six purple bells. And lastly, you want to take, now this will represent um, the anthers within the blue bell and this is very important as to why they're white or creamy white or yellowy colour because that means they're a British bluebell and uh, the reason that's important is that British bluebells have the, the nectar and the pollen that feeds the hungry bees. A lot of people think they've got bluebells in their gardens but actually they're Spanish bluebells and you can tell the difference because the anthers and the pollen are actually blue when you look at them. But if you look at the bluebell and they're whitey, whitey, creamy yellow, then they're definitely a British bluebell. And um, that's the Spanish bluebells, as far as we know, have really no benefit to nature whatsoever. The problem is that they can crossbreed with the British ones, which will gradually make um, the British ones uh, less rich in pollen and nectar for the bees and possibly eventually die out. So actually, if you have Spanish bluebells in your garden, you're meant to dig them up. You're not meant to have them anymore in this country. So taking your, um, what is going to hold the bell at the end, just take your purple sponge again and just cover that in paint, again with the sponge, about two thirds to one third. So you end up with something like that. And then you're going to leave all that to dry, okay? So uh, hopefully all your six bells uh, are now dry and also your painted pipe cleaners. So I'm going to show you what to do next. The first thing you want to do is you want to take your bell and then a sharp pointy object like this and you want to make a hole in the top. Like that. Okay. Then you take your bell Make sure it's a metal bell, because here at the Fairyland Trust we don't like anything made of plastic. We don't think the fairies like that either. You're not going to come to any parties if you're ringing plastic bells. So you want to thread your pipe cleaner through the little um, sort of hook at the top and fold it back on itself to until where you meet the purple bit. And then you twist that tightly together. Then you thread it through the bottom of your bell and out through your top, that makes one flower. And then the final thing to do, and here you can see I've already added my other five, is, and you put them all on the same side, because that's another feature of the British Bluebell, is that they have this lovely kind of drooping shape with most of the flowers hanging off one side of the stem. So then you take halfway through, uh, through your purple bit of your pipe cleaner and you literally just wind it on to secure it tightly like that. Give it a quick squeeze. And there. Let the parties begin. Thank you.